can viscoelastic actually blow out the posterior capsule? So here we are. We safely removed the cataract, polished the bag, and are about to place the lens implant into the eye. So we gently place viscoelastic in the eye. Wait, what just happened? Let's take another look at that in slow motion. The viscoelastic is gently infused into a normal capsular bag, and boom, there we can see it. Clear as day. An opening in the posterior capsule created by the viscoelastic or the viscoelastic bubbles. We identify the issue and we can see that the posterior capsule rupture has extended to the approximate diameter of our anterior capsular axis. We placed our Bausch & Lohm LI61AO monofocal lens into the eye and we placed the haptics anterior to the anterior capsular rim in the sulcus. Then we pushed the IOL optic posterior to the anterior capsular axis in a conformation known as optic capture. IA is performed to remove the viscoelastic. We then seal our incisions with BSS, then sweep below our primary and secondary incisions to make sure that there's no vitreous prolapse. This patient ultimately achieved a great visual outcome, but I've never seen this complication before in my 27 years of performing cataract surgery. So it just goes to show you, no matter how careful you are, life has problems and it's how you manage the problems that will define your life and the outcomes for your patients thanks for watching have a wonderful day bye bye